Hey there, Wondering Watchers. I'm Sony Golden for The Vibe is Golden. Welcome to this edition of Tabloid Tarot, where we unveil celebrity news stories that might hit the tabloids next and dig into old scandals that still cause a stir. In today's Tabloid Tale, we're taking a peek at the relationship between a famous actor and his daughter. We are tabloid taroting Johnny and Lily Rose Depp. So let's see what sensational headline we have for this father-daughter duo. Love. Disruption. Influence. Destiny. And fate. Coincidence. Uh, fatalism. Fortune telling. Okay, so fate and destiny. This kind of indicates like they were um, kind of part of a soul family. They were meant to be together in this lifetime. Um, this love card kind of indicates that there is a loving relationship with this disruption card. This is like um, kind of making impacts in a very um, bold way that is kind of embracing unique style. Um, like they break up the flow of things. And with this influence card, it could indicate um, kind of like the fact that they are both pursuing acting careers and um, making like, what's the word? Kind of taking the audience, like throwing them off their, their guard, like doing things that are not necessarily um, typical. Uh, I don't think people will necessarily forget Johnny Depp um, in his career, or even Lily Rose, especially after um, The Idol. And influence could just also be that concept of <laughs> Nepo baby, and that basically um, destined to make it in the acting world. But let's get more information about this connection. So let's see how Johnny and Lily Rose are alike. We have here the tower, so possibly um, a hot mess every now and then, um, but to me it's like this disruption. So let's go ahead and clarify this tower. We have the lovers here. So again, this kind of pink card indicates like love and the disruption aspect is kind of like taking that and really concepts of love and kind of taking it apart. Um, but to some degree, the fact that um, Johnny and Lily Rose's mother, uh, Vanessa Parody, they are not together. I don't know if they ever got married. I don't believe so. I think they were just in a long relationship and had a couple of children together. But here, this concept of them being alike is um, maybe being unlucky in love, um, kind of causing a stir when it comes to love life. Um, I believe Lily Rose is uh, dating a female musician, Shake 070, I think is what it is. Um, and kind of, kind of that concept of like really catching people off guard, doing things that are just out of the norm. So here where they are alike is when it comes to how they pursue their love life. So let's see what challenge Johnny and Lily Rose have in their father-daughter relationship. We have here the Seven of Cups. That could be, um, you know, just really not really getting each other, but it also could be um, being pulled in different directions by like what they prioritize or what they think is important. I'm gonna clarify that. We have here the three of pentacles. Um, so it, to me, it's like the challenge they have in the relationship might be like how they criticize each other or kind of give even, um, what's the word I'm uh, thinking of? Uh, feedback 
um, critiquing. There's a word that I can't think of that's basically um, constructive criticism. That's what it is. So constructive criticism, criticism possibly about the work that they do um, in terms of like how they are either um, portraying a character or the types of projects that they are picking up or even like even um, personal aspects. I'm drawn to this like this drink right here. Um, so drugs and alcohol, like, you know, critiquing each other or giving each other constructive criticism when it comes to um, altered altered state of mind type of thing. Uh, and it's also kind of um, bringing up this concept of disruption and even influence. So let's see, um, you know, there is that kind of, I don't know how common it is, but that idea that kids who grow up um, in families where their parents are famous and like surrounded by drugs and alcohol, like their kids kind of get into it early. So it's almost a sense of like the challenge that they have in their relationship is the fact that it's kind of contributed to their relationship. The fact that it's been around that Johnny has been, um, um, you know, done drugs and alcohol, and it's really shaped his, um, the way that he's kind of going in life. And maybe, you know, having exposed Lily Rose to that lifestyle and, and really not being able to kind of criticize each other or discuss those things with each other in a way that is, um, objective that's kind of that's the way I'm kind of seeing that so let's see and also like even how they're alike with this tower and their lovers it's like it's um, this concept of the people they love and their relationships it's can be chaotic so let's see how Johnny's energy affects Lily Rose we have the six of cups so his energy he really um wants her to uh kind of feel like he's helped her and supported her i'm gonna pull another card we have the knight of cups um but it also could have affected how she is seeking love um how she looks at relationships of give and take of helping each other um but also you know of not only how she pursues relationships but even acting you know um embracing that more creative side so let's see let's see what johnny wants lily to understand about his life we have the emperor here um okay basically it seems like he's tried to have control power and authority i'm going to clarify this and king of pentacles uh to me it's almost like he wants her to understand that to be in his position um he put in a lot of hard work um he definitely fought battles and he you know did you know did what he did to kind of earn material wealth but also to try to provide and protect for his family so let's see what johnny's purpose is in terms of um if they're destined to be in each other's life what's what's his purpose we have here the king of swords possibly to kind of show her how to um really approach the business of acting i'm gonna pull another card i would say also just to like making tough decisions that aren't always necessarily going to be um well taken or supported by everyone kind of like making tough decisions ace of pentacles um I think it's like making decisions when it comes to investment opportunities for uh, making decisions about how you see um, a new project 
or taking on a project because um, it almost shapes a sense of who you are. So let's see how Lily Rose's energy affects Johnny. We have here the hanged man. So it's almost as if her energy makes him really kind of look at himself and from a different perspective, um, probably not in a comfortable way. And we have here the chariot. So kind of like how he has tried to achieve these goals of, you know, being powerful and wealthy and um, kind of the master of his um, craft. It's as if she's had him kind of second guess or look at the ways that he has tried to um, reach his goals, deal with the drama in his life. So let's see what Lily wants Johnny to understand about her life. We have three of swords. Perhaps that, you know, that she's gone through certain pains. Maybe he's contribute, contributed to that. I'm going to pull another card. We have the queen of pentacles here. Um, this can be a card indicating um, like concepts of motherhood. Uh, the Queen of Pentacles is someone who is very nurturing, caring, and could represent like her mother or even mother figures, like how he, um, how he and her mother Vanessa Parody, kind of didn't work out. How he brought Amber Heard into their life, and she caused kind of upset and pain. So let's see. Lily Rose's purpose that she has for Johnny. We have the Ace of Swords. So basically her purpose, it seems, is to kind of, um, interesting, because his, his purpose is this King of Swords, and her purpose is this Ace of Swords. So, and <laughs> have the Ace of Pentacles over here. So it is a sense of like, how they think, how they communicate, um, is a big part of of each other's purpose in life. Almost a sense of maybe she wants to help um, him find clarity, to find a sense of you know maybe getting his act together. So I'm going to pull another card. We have here the Knight of Pentacles. So possibly her kind of saying, look, you can, you can do things, um, you can make enough money, you can be, you can have good things in life and not necessarily need to get there in a mad dash. Kind of do things with a sense of clarity and purpose. I think it's interesting we have the King of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles, Knight of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles. So to some degree, it seems like um, part of what is destined or fate is that they will have access to a lot of money. So let's see the most precious aspect of their connection. Nine of Cups. So first thing I thought about was drinking, but this is supposed to be the most precious aspect of their connection. So like the fact that they um, can have a good attitude, um, they feel fulfilled. They're pursuing their like um, their creative passion. Well, there's also a lot of decent amount of cups as well. So basically, it's like them connecting on their on their successes when it comes to their creative endeavors. And then we have this strength card. Um, in terms of the Nine of Cups and strength, it's almost a sense of really pursuing. Like, they get to talk about the projects that they work on, uh, the things that are like near and dear to their hearts, and the ways that it helps them feel more fulfilled and like um, kind of, it's not a card of daringness, but like being bold like doing things that are bold. 
um, and kind of being there for each other to support each this that concept of disruption, doing things that are just um, more in line with what they want to do creatively, and helping each other and being supported supportive of each other where it comes to like um, embracing that more creative talent regardless of what critics or audience would say and supporting each other in that. So let's see what the best way is for them to kind of communicate. We have this page of cups. So to me, this is that concept of sweetness, talking about possibilities, talking about their um, creative projects, um, and kind of like, having a sense of wonder and fascination with each other almost. And we have the Ten of Cups. So here, a lot of cups, really kind of being supportive, like just recognizing their ups, their downs, um, and really almost like encouraging each other um, to kind of follow their heart, follow their creative passions, and um, kind of not to not to give up and to face any type of like issues head on though here you know Johnny needs to um, Johnny is definitely getting a better sense of how he approaches things head on so thanks for watching this edition of tabloid tarot we'll see you next time take care